Okay, the purpose of this screencast is just to show you a few things about editing your writing portfolio um, and Google Sites in general. So once you have your uh, portfolio set up, I'm on my homepage that I just created. At this point, um, you are able to go in and edit things. So what we're expecting is that when we do major writing assignments and we publish them um, on the computer, you're going to be posting your assignments in your writing portfolio. So we just finished a writing assignment for September, so I'm going to demonstrate on that what you are supposed to do. So you have a tab for every month, for August, September, October, November, obviously. I don't need to read all the months off for you. But when you click on September, since that's the month we are in, we have just finished a personal narrative. So you click on that September tab, and it will say September at the top. Now what you need to do is go and hit this button up here. This is kind of your magic button, all right? If you ever find you can't do something, it's probably because this button hasn't been clicked. So this is a little pencil and it is for editing. So go ahead and click edit. And once it's in edit mode, you're gonna see the cursor blinking and you're going to see some options up here at the top for font and centering and other fancy things. So what you are going to be doing always is when you publish a piece, you're going to be inserting it into your portfolio. So in order to insert a Google Doc, so you will have written a personal narrative or you should have written a personal narrative on Google Docs. So it's time to insert. So you're going to go ahead insert. You're going to go to Google Drive and then find that document. If you're inserting a presentation, you would go to presentation. If you're inserting a spreadsheet, that's where you go. I think those are probably the only ones we're really going to be using. Um, but you can see there's other options for inserting as well. Um, your personal narrative should be a document, so I'm going to go ahead and click on document. Now when I click on document, it's going to pull up all the documents that I have, okay, and then some. So there's a lot, and sometimes it will take some to load. What I need to do is find what I named my, um, my personal narrative, and instead of searching through the whole thing, I'm just, I know what I named it, I called it the chair. So, oh, there it is. So now that I found the chair, I'm going to click on that. And it's going to go ahead and pop this up. So that's one way to do it. As long as you hit save. Now, you will not see this, the actual document. You can center it and things like that. But you're not actually going to see the words until you hit the save button up at the top and take it out of edit mode. So once you hit save, it's going to pop up and you should be able to see it. Now, there is actually one more thing that I need to show you in order for somebody else to be able to see this. So you guys can see this um, from, from your own um, Google Docs, but if you don't change the setting on this document, then nobody else is going to be able to see it. So open up a separate tab, and you are go going to go to Google Docs. See it, so I'm just going to go to Google. All right, and then I'm going to click on Google Drive. All right, so I need to find that document, the chair that I just inserted. Here it is. Now, what I need to do in, for, in order for somebody else to be able to see this is I need to be able to change the share settings. So there's this button in the corner, it's a blue button, it says share. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, mine's actually, I already changed it, let me change it back. What it will automatically go to is it's automatically going to set to private. So when you make a document, it's automatically private, and that's what this says now. In order to change that so other people can see it, you're going to go to this change button, and you're going to click on anyone with the link, and then you're going to make sure it's a can view. You don't want it to be can edit. You could say can comment if you want. I just want them to be able to view it. All right. Once I have that fixed, I'm going to hit save. And then I have to click done. All right. And then on that, let me find it, on your portfolio now, Everyone who has the link to your portfolio is going to be able to see that document. 
that's important so that your classmates, your parents, and so we, your teachers, can see your work. All right. Um, a couple other things I'm going to quickly show you how to do on here. Um, let's just go back into edit mode. So remember, if I want to change anything, I'm going to hit edit. All right, there is a way that you can just type in here. And you can just say whatever you want to say. And as long as you hit save, underneath your inserted document, it will say whatever you said. Okay, so there's my I love writing. Now I can't take that off until I go back into edit mode. And then I can delete things too. Okay. Now there's some other things that you're going to be able to do. You can copy an image. So let's go to, let's say I want to insert a picture of a chair. So I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to go to images. And I'm just going to write chair and see what comes up here. All right. Uh, I think this looks most like the chair in my story. So I'm going to go ahead and head. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to find the image URL. I'm going to say copy image address. Or it will say image URL, I think, if you're on a, um, if you're on a PC. So copy, copy image address or copy image URL. And then you can go back here. And if you say insert image, you can, since we've done a URL, you can click on web address URL and go ahead and paste that in. If you say OK, it's going to be in there. Obviously, this is way too big. So I'm going to just say I want a large picture. Or I can say I want a medium picture, or I want a small picture, whatever you're looking for. And you can center it if you want to. You can make it to the right, you can make it to the left. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the middle, and I'm going to make it medium. Okay, now again, this is not going to save until I hit save. Alright, so now I have the chair, and there's my chair at the bottom. Uh, one more thing that you can do that you might be interested in. I'm going to hit edit one more time. I'm going to go back in edit mode, and I'm going to get rid of my chair. I don't actually want that in there. I think it's kind of an ugly chair. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead again, go to insert image. Now, another thing you can do is you can select an image from uh, your desktop or your computer. Um, so I'm going to say instead of going to web address, I'm going to go to choose file, and I'm going to upload one of my pictures. Okay, so I can go to my photos. And I'm just going to pick a random one for now. Here's a picture of my nephew, Logan, when he was baptized. So I clicked on that. I double-clicked, or you can say choose, I believe is what it said. And then it's just uploading that picture. Now I'm going to select that picture, hit OK. And again, it's going to bring this crazy big picture. So I want to click on it, and I'll just make it a large. All right, again, I can center it. And I believe, well, no, actually, that's not true. So when I'm done, again, I have to click Save so that it will save. So now I have my portfolio. I've got my picture in here. Okay. So those are just a few of the tricks. There's actually a lot of tricks once you get into edit mode. And I'd encourage you to play around and see what you can find. Uh, make sure it's school appropriate. Make sure it's for the purpose of your writing portfolio. But up in here, when you go to insert, there's lots of different options. Okay, Lots of different cool things that you can play with. Um, I'm, you're probably going to stay away from the layout buttons. Actually, you're definitely going to stay away from the layout buttons. But if you go up to insert, there's some different things that you can play around on and see what you think. Okay, Always remember to hit that save button so that your stuff that you've changed on here it sticks on here. Also remember that if any, you insert any documents in here, you have to go into the actual document on Google Drive and change those share settings to anyone with the link can view. Okay, it has to be set. Anyone with the link can view. All right, thank you.